Here we go, guys. Going to start off very shortly with this top eight qualifier. I don't know if you, I don't know if you saw this. I did. This That's was, good. This was great. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> Eight bit man introduction. I love. Oh, that's the, good. I love those. They're so good. That is really good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, qualifier for the top eight right now: Salem or Eight Bit Man? Two Florida residents. Who you got? Should an overwhelming favorite and likely Salem? I was but Eight Bit say. Man, he's been surprising people all tournament long. Oh yeah, don't listen. Don't get me wrong. Eight Bit very talented, but if I'm in Vegas, I got like three to one odds. Right. Like this is good monkey flip there. Mm, mm, mm. Salem, of course, with the banana. Probably gonna see a slower. That that's the thing. Talk to me. Is that Salem is so slow? Oh my god, Salem is so slow paced and deliberate. Uh, and Apeit Man is very high tempo, very aggressive. And I just feel like Salem can just chill him out, just ice him. You know what I mean? That's just fair. like stop him at every chance. Looks like he has it right there. He even called out the monkey flip just a second ago with the up smash, knowing it wouldn't kill, but it just sends a message. Mm -mm. Trying to dash around, getting the up air. Banana is Oof. out, but he can't get a stronger punish, yeah. All right, A-Bit Man tracking him down like the monkey flip. Just immediately gets that banana back in hand, but you know Salem, he's not gonna shy away from hanging that ledge, or excuse me, that platform, and it did him in on that exchange. Ape Man was like, I already got some real estate, bro, and you ain't moving in. Barrel pressure being applied. Ape is still with some life in this game. Yeah, that's some shades of that set that he had with Compact. And again, more barrel damage already at 40%. Jeez. Ape it loves that stuff. And honestly, I think this weird playstyle is kind of throwing Salem off. I didn't think that these tricks would work against him, but Salem kind of caught off guard. Yeah. Ape it able to fight his way back. And honestly, we know that Diddy does pretty well against Bayonetta, one of the better characters at this matchup. And you have to remember that Salem has so many games against Zero and against that Diddy playstyle, 8 Bitman might be surprising him. I mean, it's just pure aggression in your face. You know, we know, you know, in past, you know, especially with Zero, he would often just always have the banana in hand, kind of pacing on the stage, take his time, try and create an opening. 8 Man, he's forcing those kind of situations. Lost the match there, but still, I mean, Salem has to know it's not going to be easy going down the line. Yeah, that was a better showing than uh, I was expecting. Again, taking nothing away from 8 Man, but he looked very strong in that game, and if he could just tighten up the bolts a little bit in certain situations, might be better off in the rest of the set. Had to see where he goes for game two. Smashville not being moved off of. Don't know if he wants to pick something a little bit more, yeah, suited to himself. There we go, Town and City for this next one. All right, let's get, get, get it. Oh gosh, yeah, I don't know about that. He's just monkey <laughs> flipping right just in. Right to his face. Salem's like, nah, hold this 9%. He didn't even get like a combo there. He's just like, get out, get off. Get uh, off, man. Uh, that up B just to get out of pressure? Uh, dude, he loves that. Like, he truly is just the, the second incarnation of the barrel technician. <laughs> How appropriate that he had to beat MVD to get to this point. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. Going for it a little bit too much there. Well, I was going to say, you know, I don't want to criticize him, but... Eh. That's the thing. It's hard to say, man, because you don't want to, like, come at A-Bit, man, because he's playing this super well. It's just Evo champion. Five right. on PGR, you know? It's like, it's tough. Forward throw, gets him off the side. He shoots out the bay. He got away with it. All right. <laughs> Whatever, man. This man. Here, dodges through the monkey flip. Rolling all over the place, finally getting the grab, trying to get some aerials. He gets one back here. He didn't right. get the banana. He was like, all right, screw it. I'm Ooh, whatever. I like what he's doing there. He's getting an opportunity to just throw out two aerials. Obviously, whiffing on the air dodge, but he's able to connect. The second attempt, working out nicely for him. The down tilt going a little bit too far out. Going for the barrels again, and he's going to pay for it. That yep. up air from Salem, he's well scouted on that. That goofy stuff, I I just I don't think it really works on Salem you, too high. You, you got to be, you got to kind of pace yourself with how much you really want to throw that out. Right. Salem is just, he's too gifted of a player to just get caught up by that. Nice try on that up tilt. I like the attempt. I don't know if it would have killed just because he has no rage. But his mind's definitely in the right place. Ooh. Up air's going to do it. Hey, yeah. Shades of the old hoo ha with that one. <laughs> All right, man. 
<laughs> this is some Wiley e. Coyote it stuff. It really like, is. Th this Diddy is some Looney Tunes stuff. It's crazy. Definitely should be sponsored by Acme. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the banana out again. Salem's going to pick that one up. Get a little bit of damage for his trouble. Take him to the top. Is that it? No, not quite. Even on Town and City. Yeah, huh. man. Quite enough. Maybe Salem looking to get another opportunity at it. Yeah, and you saw he didn't explode the barrels right next to Salem, knowing he'd probably eat a smash attack and lose that second stock, which time is out. That's something we haven't seen yet. Something we saw a lot against MVD in the past. I saw it in uh, Mysterica against MVD yesterday. He got the uh, witch timing the banana. If, Dan if Diddy is anywhere near it, he's still going to get pulled into the witch time, which can be very tough. Nice. Right. 8 -bit man battling here. Got to be careful, though. You already know one witch time will definitely end this game. Yeah. Good monkey flip there. 85 to 125. Going super deep. Yeah, he wanted that, man. He's just like, the time is now to try. Oh, my. The betrayal from the banana. Oh, my. That that hurts, man. That's some pretty stuff. Man, that looking like a trap character on that one. Just like, boom, boom, boom. Got the grab release into the... And honestly, that's what set him up for the kill because the banana offered him a chance to dash grab. He was he might not have been at the right position to kill with the fourth throw unless he dashed forward and got to the very edge of the stage. Awesome awareness by Salem, earning that second game. Have to see if he can make this a fast 3-0 for top eight. Gotta be, got a feeling that's exactly what he's looking to do. Ape it, though, you already know. We, we talked about how we thought the ride would be a little too difficult. Yeah of a matchup. He's played him well with Diddy, just hasn't been able to quite clutch it out yet. All right, one game away for top eight is Salem. 8-Bit trying to keep those hopes and dreams alive. I really do feel like, I mean, I look at this bracket, these qualifying matches, I feel like this is probably the worst match we really could have got matched up with. Oh, God, yeah. Like, just, just as far as our person uh, and the character. Yeah, even Mistake. Like, if he got matched up against Mistake, maybe he can get him with some of the goofy stuff. Right, you know exactly. what I mean? Like, throw him off. Mistake I would agree with that. sometimes can fall into that. Uh, Salem, again, just kind of airtight, you know? He's not with the birds, man. All about his business. So much damage there. 74 gets the witch time. Wow, he doesn't get anything out of it, though. Just the jab. Yeah. Kind of surprised by that. Interesting. Like, he came, kind of came out of the barrels, I guess, it's like weird. in the witch time. That was interesting interaction. I haven't seen that too much before. But nonetheless, uh, probably a good thing for 8 bit man. Oh, God, yeah. All things considered. It's the up throw into the back air. More damage for free. 8 bit man only slightly trailing. And he's going to even it up. Yes, beautiful weight on the air dodge. Now he's taking the lead. Wow. Just runs up and does it. Full stage up smash. Not enough to kill, but close. Oof. The C off air. Yeah. yeah, frame traps him. Can't get away from both. Another monkey flip. Oh, wow. We talked about the banana usage from Salem earlier in that last game. Ape Man showing us a little bit of his own with a down smash. Come on, smash him. <laughs> Just smash him. Yeah, What's the jab? Like, okay. The jab feels rude. It's just like, stop. You get any punish. That's enough of that. Watch the grab on the side, yeah. Bananas he is, up. He made such an interesting player. Yeah. Like some of the Ooh. things, yo, yeet, yeet. I think I heard that from the crowd, too. <laughs> Good stuff. We've inspired a generation, my friend. <laughs> All right, we're just going to. Yeah, right, we're going to we do go. that. He wanted to grab at the ledge, because if he gets that, he's definitely dead. 158. He's gonna get to the ledge. He can't get the, yeah. He's gonna say he can't grab the other one, and Salem was kind of stuck, because he could have gone all the way under. Good monkey flip there. A little bit of free damage. Yeah, Apit is extending this lead ever so slightly. I mean, all percent is good percent against Salem. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the shenanigans from Apit. You know, it's one of those things, like, I was watching him and I was like, all right, what can you do? You can do two up airs. You can't really get anything else. He's I, like, no, I got a trick. I got something just for this situation. I'm almost starting to wonder if he just does it at this point just to frustrate Salem, because it's like, Salem's thinking, I've punished you so many times, but you just keep doing it. <laughs> like, you don't learn. It's like a dog. He keeps swatting on the nose. Like, stop. Yes, please. I think he's got to punish him harder, man. I don't enjoy doing this. Like, <laughs> you're not leaving more than it hurts Exactly. <laughs> Now 80, oh gosh, okay. 99 to 178. 8-Bit uh, is sneakily, slowly 
taken this game. That was absolute domination on the part of 8-Bit. Salem had zero answers to that Looney Tune style that he is bringing to this top eight qualifier. As soon as he lost that first stock to the throw, nothing was going to happen after that. Right. Like 8-Bit just locking totally down, just shutting out Salem. Really surprising on that. So here we go, one more game perhaps. 2-1 in Salem's favor. Going to battle, uh-oh, battlefield. Oh. Uh-oh. This is a good run. <laughs> this is. It's going to be tough, it's going to be tough, straight up. Best on. of luck. Yeah. You already know what Salem does on this. It's not the fact that Salem just kind of makes this stage his own and just kind of dominates. It's that he does it at such a slow pace. Yeah. Which is just the most frustrating thing to deal with. However, 8-bit, oh my goodness. He said, you know what? You can slow it down if you want. My button's always on fast forward. Yeah. Straight up. See, I think the problem here is that, like, Apex got the lead right now, but if he loses his stock first, he's in a nightmare situation. That yeah, is. So he's got to make sure to clean off the stock first. And right now, he's well on his way, but Salem firing back. Oh, no. Yeah, he's got the monkey flip, but he, he sneaks back. Oh, oh no. no. That's the worst angle to get. That's, that's a friendly angle. That's when you get in your friendlies where you're just a little tight. You got to give up the sticks on the rotation. Yep, yep. Not in tournament, though, bro. That hurts. Yeah, now on the rotation, you lose maybe 30 minutes. Right. On this one, you're losing your flight, your venue, your hotel. And more than $30, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> hate to tell it like it is, but it, that is the fact. And you already know, Sam, I'm going to take that banana, and he is just going to retreat. He's going to play to your frustration, 8-Bit. You've got to keep your composure. Yeah. I I mean, we we said it. If 8-Bit uh, loses the first stock, I do not see him coming back. He had an excellent uh, showing that last game, but he's going to need nothing short of a miracle here, I think. It's going to take a lot. It's a boss fight. It's like a boss fight where you, like, enter the room with half health. And you're like, ah, do I just, <laughs> do I play this? Is Maybe this... I can learn some habits. Yeah, exactly. Up throw, nice. Up air, not bad. Just kind of stuffing him a little bit. Okay, that banana making it a little bit easier for 8-Bit Man to get off just by the trip. Yeah. Not going to be pinned down on the ledge. Yeah, but even there on the ledge, he's getting knocked off. Finally, excellent. Little bit of charge on that up smash, just like that. There's a glimmer of hope. Perhaps a silver lining here. Perhaps so, man. He still has a pulse in this game. But Any I... man with two hands has a fighting chance. <laughs> That's what they say. That's what they say. Ah, oh, no. All right. Well. Uh, well, he had two legs, and he only needed one. Yeah. So. It's Ellsworth. There we go. Nice try. But that's going to do it. Salem taking the set. 3-1, but excellent showing by 8-Bit Man Seriously. again. Taking the Seriously. game. Not bad at all. 8-Bit had himself a heck of a run throughout this tournament, but Salem now, I believe, officially qualifying for top eight. Yeah. So that's that's big. Not a big surprise to see him there. Yeah, it's you know. Salem, number five in the world. Again, I mean, in his last.